So just like on these past uh, Zoom calls, um, you can go ahead and use the raise hand function and I'll get to you in the um, order that you guys do that. Uh, with that being said, uh, we'll get started with the statement from Coach Barnes and then move into questions. You know, very tough loss today. Um, you know, I thought that we didn't play a bad game. I thought we fought. I thought we did some really good things. I think that, you know, we didn't good, do a good job of maintaining our lead um, down the stretch, but a lot of very questionable calls that didn't go our way. Um, you know, I, I think that we're a pretty good aggressive team and um, there was a lot of calls that really were momentum shifters. So, um, you know, don't make an excuse for losing a game, but I thought that, you know, a lot of stuff was out of our control and really affected the game. And I have never had a game with three players fouling out two in regulation. And I've never also played in a game, I don't think probably in five years, um, where we shot a five of 10 free throws with some of the most athletic guards in the country. So, um, you know, then played a team that shot 23. So tough to play that way with your hands. Or actually, actually shot 26, so 26 to 10. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. That's how the Pac-12 is. You know, we're going to get homeward different places, and that was clearly going on today. I'll right, we'll go ahead and get started with Kim. So, Adia, how much did you think – he made some personnel changes there in that second half. Did you think it had a big effect on, on your team's ability to score having um, Pinto in there? Not at all. Um, I don't think she had any effect on the game besides having – two offensive rebounds, um, but we know she's a driver. We didn't do a good job of boxing her out. I think that, but getting small and athletic, you know, I think was smart, um, but I think that didn't affect the game at all. I think what affected us was going into the third quarter with that lead and then only scoring five points in the, in the um, fourth quarter. But I mean, a lot of those, the game was shifted, the momentum was shifted after some really tough calls. So that was clearly putting us in um, hesitant on defense but not the reason why we lost, but just tough to play under those um, circumstances. But, all, but like stuff we can control, like Sabali did great down the stretch. Sedona hit some big shots. I mean, but if you look at the game, you know, almost half the points were from the free throw line. And we typically don't do that. And we haven't done that all year, or we probably haven't done that in three years. So it's just interesting that we did that. PJ? Yeah, and it seemed like Sedona um, took over offensively and defensively towards the end. What, you know, I know you guys were in foul trouble, but, you know, how were you able to contain her early? And then how did that happen at that point? Well, because the refs were making so many calls, we couldn't play. <laughs> so when all, every single post player was in foul trouble, every single one, um, Coy, Araya, Kate, Lauren, um, who typically, I mean, Kate's probably fouled out a couple games her whole career. So in that case, when you have foul trouble and then offensively you're getting dislodged and arm barred the whole game, and then defensively you can't play, um, it's difficult. It's hard to play like that. Dylan? Yeah, what was the difference in your offense for in the fourth quarter as compared to the rest of the game? Well, everybody was in foul trouble, so I think you you tend to be less aggressive. And, and that's something we can control. We had to be a little smarter knowing the game was being called really tight. Um, but I, I think it's just hard. Um, it, it, there was a lot of inconsistency and um, it was just tough for us to play, but not an excuse at all. We have to know on the road it's like this. Um, probably some teams feel like that when they come to Arizona. So it is what it is. You know, we have to know to pop back and kind of help more. We know Sabali's isolating us. We need to help because she's a really good player. And we know Sabrina has a high push out. She's not going to really drive by you, but she did what she does really well. And and Pau Pau did a really good job of rejecting screens and going downhill. Those are controllable things for us. But I thought that we were really hesitant because of the way the game was being called. Steve? Yeah, Coach, it seemed like that kind of first half and through, you were playing your style and kind of the pace you wanted. Do you feel like they got you out of that, or did you guys kind of take yourself out of kind of that pace later? No, I think the officiating got us out of it. I think that we played our pace. We're a pretty fast team. Um, you know, and so when you're not able to play a certain way, and um, I think it's really hard. But so I think we got out of it because we were hesitant because everybody was in foul trouble. So we were playing with different combinations, and that's never really happened to us. Javi? Uh, so, Adia, now, I mean, you guys got a split on the road, which uh, I would guess most you want to do that most times in the Pac 12. So, what can you get out of that? And 
moving forward? You know, I think that, you know, we're disappointed with today, not disappointed with our fight, but, you know, it's just when, I, when I'm when i looking at the stat sheet, we finished the game from two, 43%. We finished the game from three, 45%. Free throws are bad, 50%. That's really bad. Um, and then we only go to the free throw line. We're a really aggressive team. We go 10 times. So um, shoot 10 free throws. And we're an aggressive team that goes downhill. Um, and then we, you know, our opponents, we held to 40%, which is that's that's under their average, but that's still, they shot a good percentage. And then um, they shot 18% from the three, which they normally shoot 38. Um, but then the difference to me in the whole game was 26 free throws versus 10. And we're a team that goes downhill. Oregon typically is a shooting team. So usually in most scenarios, we would, it would be flipped, <laughs> it would be reversed a little bit. But it is what it is. Um, that's how it happened. We, the control was for us. We can't control um, those things, but we can control making free throws. We can control not giving, you know, you know, Pinto a sub, two offensive rebounds, not giving Sedona wide open shots, and we know that's what she does, not allowing Sabali to isolate us. She put an awesome game. And, I mean, half of her points, so 10 for 14 from the free throw line. And so, and then Kate had four. No, Kate had zero. So Kate's really aggressive. And if you, you think that they're probably – they're probably similar in their aggressiveness. Sabali was 10 for 14 from the free throw line. And Kate is a pretty aggressive player. Kate was zero for zero, no attempts. And they both had similar shot attempts. Usually Kate would have had, I would say, six to eight at least in this game. EJ? Yeah, it's such a tough loss for you. How do you, what do you say to your team after a loss like this? And then how do you this week you know, put this behind you and move forward. And what do you work on? You work on little things like the thing, the controllable things for us are making passes on balance, um, not having turnovers, not forcing a shot down the stretch, not turning the ball over down the stretch. As a team, being aware when we're getting isolated and how to help each other and support each other, not leave each other on the island. Um, but like, I, I wasn't disappointed. I, it wasn't a yelling in there. We fought. In some games, I like this. This is basketball. We're going to win some games. We're going to lose some. We're going to win some big ones. We're going to lose them. It is what it is. The controllable things are losing a 17-point lead. There was times we could have put Oregon away. And um, we know we can score at any time against them. And we weren't able to score the ball at time. We know we can get stops. Um, but we weren't able to score at times. And we let them go on runs. And I think those are things that we have to get better at. But we will get better. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll play them again in Tucson. Um, and it's a competitive game. The Pac-12 is hard. We had a tough game, barely squeezed out on, um, on Thursday, and then another tough game on Saturday. So we just have to get better and just know we're going to face adversity on the road. Kim? Offensively, um, Shana just had a really good weekend. Um, what do you have to say about the way she's playing just offensively, not necessarily on the defense, but on the offense? Offensively, she's attacking. She's doing some great things. She's playing within herself. She's taking good shots. Um, I think she's controlling the tempo. I think she's playing good basketball right now. Um, hit a huge shot on Thursday, helped us win the game. Offensively, the only negative thing I can say about her is the free throws, but she's been better at that. I think that Shayna's playing some good basketball at a high level right now, and she's helping us um, win games. You know, unfortunately tonight, a couple shots didn't go her way, but they're really big inside. Sedona, Sabali, it's a lot of size, so it's hard to get to the rim. So um, I think Shana's playing good basketball, and she's leading our team. Do we have any more questions for Coach Barnes? All right, thank you, everybody. Thank Thanks, you, Coach. you guys. And we'll okay, talk bye. to you guys this week. Thanks.